I'm Betty Who, and I'm going to break down the lyrics of my new song, Blow Out My Candle. Let's get into it. So the first verse goes like this. It, um, it goes, mm. You don't know me. You don't get it. You really sold me. But you never met me halfway. Guess you don't see it. Where this train's headed. Best believe me, you're not gonna get in my way. Does it help you sleep? Does it make you stronger? To beat up on me, I won't take it any longer. Yeah, so I wrote this verse, I, when we sort of sat down to write this, I felt very like I wanted to write a song that was for me mostly and then hopefully to share it for people in the same way that it was like I'm having I have to remind myself that like no one's going to go out there and do it for me like maybe nobody else sees the vision that I have for myself but that doesn't mean that that vision isn't correct I just have to show people and I have to believe and I have to get across the finish line and just make it and do it I wanted it to feel like no matter what anybody else says no matter what anybody else does the only thing I have control over is myself is how I feel about myself, how I present myself, the story that I am telling for myself. And so it's about letting everybody else get out of the way and say, I'm, I'm going where I'm going, regardless of how you feel about it. Maybe I should just play the chorus. So it goes, I won't stop running down that road. I'll keep dancing till I die. You can blow out my candle. But you'll never put out my fire So don't stop, I've been here and I know You can't quit, even when it hurts to try You can blow out my candle But you'll never put out my fire When I'm writing music, I often think about, okay, what, what am I missing? Like, what do I wish I had more of? I think that's something I've always thought about is where is there a hole in the market for like, I wish I had a song that was about this thing. Like, I wish that I, I have this feeling and I don't know if I've heard a song that's about that specific thing. I, I'm trying to get really specific on this record. So, okay, so we're at the second verse. So the second verse goes, it starts the same way. She goes, You don't know me. You don't understand it. I'm not the old me. Crying in the ballroom backstage. I'm not the old me, old me crying in the ballroom backstage is sort of, um, it's really a metaphor for a lot of things in my life, but I have had so many experiences, you know, being in anywhere USA, having some meltdown about something that has gone horribly wrong or whatever happened. I feel like I've really had such an emotional roller coaster in all of these really strange places. And so I, I think I've really sort of been through the ringer on tour and that's, Touring is my bread and butter. That's where I feel like my 10,000 hours are. That's what I love to do. I love to perform. I love to hold space for people. And and so I, something I really promised myself on this record cycle is that I would do everything I could to remember that this is literally what I asked for. That I'm living the dream. Um, okay, so I think, uh, okay, so we're at the second half of the verse, second verse, and it goes, um, Look up and see it where this plane's headed that bird you let go is never getting back in that cage did it help you sleep did it make you stronger beating up on me i won't take it any longer i won't stop and then we're back into the chorus and we did also make a choice in that pre-chorus the first time it's does it help you sleep? Does it make you stronger to beat up on me? I can't take it any longer. And it's in present tense and you're sort of looking at this person being like, does this help? Do you feel good about this? And the second pre-chorus is past tense. You know, she's like where this plane's headed, you know, time has passed, she's grown, she's, she's moved into this part of her life. And then she's sort of looking back going like, did it, did it help actually? Now that we're here, now that we've had some time, now that we've all thought about it, did it really help you sleep? Did it make you stronger beating up on me? Like, and then it's, I won't take it any longer, which I love to. I love a can't to won't. It's like the first one you're like, I can't do this. And it feels almost a little more helpless. And then the second time is she's totally empowered. She's in her fucking jellies and she's going, I will not put up with this. Here you me, which I love. I love that 
tiny shift in language can completely disempower or empower a person. And so I, I love really playing with that and showing growth from the time a song starts to the to the time you know you it finishes. We all went on a journey together. I love a bridge. Everybody, I mean, if you know me, you know that I'm a sucker for a good bridge. And so I love to I love to change chords. I love to go somewhere else musically. Just paint a new picture with like this last section that we have. So uh, it goes. But you'll never put out my fire. I'm up in smoke, soft tires. Pop that cello, come on. Who's gonna feed the flame? Who's gonna feed the flame? Like moonlight, you'll fade away. Forget me, forget my face, but you'll never forget my name. Don't ever forget my name, cause I won't stop. Then we go to the chorus again. So this bridge was like, I wanted to do. I wanted it to feel like all of the energy that we've been cultivating this whole time kind of gets really emotional. We go to the minor chord at the top of it, which is the first time that we've lived here. Moonlight. That, like, that to me felt so like, oh, we're in a new section. She's so emotional. This journey has been so long and tiring. And so she's in having this emotional moment going, fire, I'm up in smoke. Like I am, you know, so I'm part of this, the flame and the, the power that is pushing me forward. Like we are one big entity. And um, soft tires pump that choke. Soft tires is a is sort of an F, is, I'm obsessed with Formula One. And then pump that choke was <laughs> something that Martin, my, my co-producer and co-writer on this song, suggested. He was like, pump that choke. It's like on a motorbike or whatever when you're trying to get the engine to start. I don't ride fucking dirt bikes. I don't know what it is. But he was like, this is so cool. Like, it sounds cool. And I was like, am I? Am I cool enough and masculine enough to say pump that choke and feel correct about it? I was like feeling a little insecure. He was kind of like, fuck yeah. I was like, oh, okay. Okay, let's go for it. And so I, la I laughed for like five minutes being like, I don't know if I can. And then now I'm, it's like one of my favorite lines on the, on the song, on the record maybe. And we've talked about when the record comes out, we want to get a pump that choke tattoo. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Well, guys, this was it. This was the behind the lyrics of Blow Up My Candle. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. And I hope you enjoyed. And I hope you now have all of these, like, now you're listening and you'll be like, I know what that means. Uh, listen to Blow Up My Candle. Stream it. Download it. Any way you listen to music. Spotify, Apple Music, Amazon, Tidal, the whole kit and caboodle. I'm Betty Who. Thanks so much. Thanks.